ஹலோ ஸ்டூடெண்ட்ஸ் வெல்கம் பேக் டு ஜே ஜேஸ் ஃபிசிக்ஸ் கிளாஸ் இந்த ப்ரீவியஸ் கிளாஸ் வி ஹாவ் டிஸ்கஸ் அபவுட் தி டிஃப்ரென்ஸ் பிட்வீன் ஸ்பீட் அண்ட் வெலோசிட்டி வென் ஸ்டடிங் ஃபிசிக்ஸ் இட் இஸ் வெரி இம்பார்ட்டன் டு நோ த டிஃப்ரென்ஸ் பிட்வீன் ஸ்பீட் அண்ட் வெலோசிட்டி வென் தே ஆர் த சேம் வேல்யூ தி ஆப்ஜெக்ட் ஹாஸ் ட்ராவல் இன் எ ஸ்ட்ரீட் லைன் டிஃப்ரெண்ட் வேல்யூஸ் பிட்வீன் ஸ்பீட் அண்ட் வெலோசிட்டி இண்டிகேட் தட் த ஆப்ஜெக்ட்ஸ் பாத் வாஸ் நாட் ஸ்ட்ரீட் Today we will be discussing about different types of speed followed by different types of velocity. Let us start. Basically there are four different types of speed in physics and each one will be explained in detail. So first one is uniform speed. Second one is variable speed. Third one instantaneous speed and last average speed. Let us start with uniform speed. What is uniform speed? If a body covers equal distance in equal intervals of time, then it is said to be moving with uniform speed. As you can see here, at 0 second, the car has not moved yet. And at 2 seconds, it has reached 10 meter. Next 2 seconds, it has traveled 20 meter next two second it has traveled 30 meter as you can see here the car covers equal distance in equal intervals of time the car is said to be moving with uniform speed what is variable speed if a body covers unequal distance in equal intervals of time then it is said to be moving with variable speed as you can see here, at 0 second, again the car is at 0 meter, it has not moved. Again, 1 second it has reached 5 meter, next 1 second it has reached 15 meter, next 1 second it has reached 30 meter. That means the car is moving unequal distance in equal intervals of time, then it is said to be moving with variable speed. Here the speed is not constant, it keeps on changing. So what is the difference between uniform and non-uniform speed? Uniform speed, as we discussed already, when an object travels equal distance in equal intervals of time. But what is non-uniform speed? When an object travels unequal distance in equal interval of time. Next is instantaneous speed. What is instantaneous speed? The name itself indicating that the speed of an object at a particular instant of time. As you can see in this picture, the speed of this athlete at a particular instant of time, we call it as instantaneous speed. So we define more accurately the speed of an object under motion at a specific point of time. Next is average speed. What is average speed? Let me give you an example. Suppose on the average your car was moving with a speed of 25 miles per hour. During your trip there may have been times that you were stopped and other times your speedometer was reading 50 miles per hour. Yet on average you are moving with a speed of 25 miles per hour. That is your average speed. So how do you calculate the average speed? Average speed is calculated as the ratio of total distance traveled by a body to the total time take. So average speed formula is total distance travel divided by total time taken. If an object travels a distance s in time t then speed v is v average is equal to distance travel divided by time taken that we already discussed. What is the unit here? It is meter per second. Let us solve one example here. An object travels 16 meter in 4 seconds and then another 16 meter in 2 seconds. What is the average speed of an object? Here we are supposed to calculate the average speed. For that we need the total distance. So as is given 
16 meter in 4 seconds another 16 meter in another 2 seconds so total distance travel is 32 meter what is the total time taken so 16 meter in 4 seconds so 4 seconds plus 16 meter in 2 seconds so 2 seconds that gives what 6 seconds therefore velocity average is equal to 32 meter is the total distance divided by 6 seconds so when you do this calculation you get it as 5.33 meter per second that is your average speed next question is the odometer of a car reads 2000 kilometer at the start of a trip and 2400 kilometer at the end of the trip if the trip took 8 hour calculate the average speed of the car in kilometer per hour and meter per second here we need to find out the average speed of this car so for that we need the total distance covered by the car s is equal to what is that so they have mentioned about 2400 kilometer at the end of the trip minus 2000 kilometer at the start of the trip that means 400 kilometer is the distance traveled by this car what is the time taken time taken t is equal to it's mentioned it is 8 hour so we average which is equal to total distance travel divided by the time taken which gives what 400 kilometer divided by 8 hour so that gives you what 50 kilometer per hour so we got the answer in kilometer per hour now we have to convert this into meter per second how do we do that which is equal to 50 kilometer per hour which is equal to 50 1 kilometer is 1000 meter and 1 hour is 3600 seconds so 50,000 divided by 3600 the answer is 13.89 meter per second we got the answer in meter per second so 50 kilometer per hour and 13.89 meter per second is the final answer thank you